Welcome, beloved. Welcome once again here to our uh, weekly prayer promise. We're so glad you can be with us once again. As you know, we are just going to continue our discussion, as we were in the past few weeks, about not loving the world. Else we become like that Freddy the Frog, ready to be cooked, and unaware of the danger, even in that meditation stance. If you've got your Bibles with you, please turn to two passages this morning. Two passages. We're first going to look at Hosea chapter 4 in the Old Testament, one of the small prophets there, Hosea chapter 4, and uh, also in the New Testament, 2 Corinthians chapter 6. Uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 6. I want us to look at both those passages, but if you've got go to 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 17, put your finger in there. And hold the place there and we'll first go to Hosea chapter 4 and we'll read there verse 6 for starters. You all ready to go? Radio. Hosea chapter 4 verse 6. My people, this is God speaking here, are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. And listen to what he says here. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. That thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God. I will also forget thy children. Wow. But let's go to Second Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 17. Second Corinthians 6 verse 17. Listen to this wonderful prophet here, uh, promise here. Wherefore, come out from among them, and be ye separate, saith the Lord. And touch not the unclean thing. And I will receive you. What a promise. Up to there, the the reading, beloved. I've titled this morning's message, Hand Hygiene at School. Hand Hygiene at School. But this is the first part. We'll probably continue with the second part next week. Uh, Hand Hygiene at School. (laughs) When I went to school... We used to have hand inspection uh, every morning uh, for cleanliness of our hands and our nails. They were not dirty and they were brushed and looked neat and tidy. I wonder if you have that at school still today or if you could remember having something like that. I guess that exercise taught us one thing and that's discipline in a way too, isn't that? So, now being a farm boy, I usually was ignorant of many things my peers knew and learnt from each other. Because I used to go back, straight back to school, to the farm. Didn't have any other things we had to do. There I learnt many things you could do with your fingers, like clicks, uh, or even make sounds with your hands. You know, I used to do this, we used to make little sounds like on the farm with 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 the doves. Something like that. <laughs> but uh, that's what I used to do with my hands as well. But I also used to play various card games that they taught me. But you know, I never had the knowledge, nor did I know the history or the true meaning of these things. But I must say, you know, the Holy Spirit was always there to nudge me that something was just not quite right about them. God says, my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. Today I want us to have a look at just a few of these signs. In case you might also be a bit ignorant about them like I was. Let us start off with some hand signs. I've got five of them there in this first part. But first, let us go to our manufacturer's manual. Yeah, no, we've got to go to our manufacturer's manual because, uh, you know, everything is perfect in this manual. And we go to Proverbs chapter 6. Proverbs chapter 6, and we'll read there from verse 12 and 13. (laughs) You know what I like about this Bible? It tells you everything you need to know. Everything. Proverbs 6, verse 12 to 13. It says, A naughty person, a wicked man, Walketh with a froward mouth, twisted. 
He winketh with his eyes. He speaketh with his feet. And he teacheth with his fingers. And they tell me this manual is out of date. I don't think so. Is it not interesting how some country leaders, occultists, gang members, Masons, Freemasons and others use their feet and hand signals to give messages to one another. Let us look at five of these signs. The first one I look at is the V sign. The V sign. It actually began as a symbol of satanic benediction or a so-called blessing during the satanic rituals. It was even used by Yasser Arafat of the Palestinian Liberation uh, um, the PLO, Richard Nixon, past president of the US, Winston Churchill in the Second World War. Yes, Winston Churchill, who was also a Mason, actually gave the sign a facelift. He says it symbolized victory during the Second World War. But beloved, you know, to my surprise, a few days ago, I saw our Australian Prime Minister, Mr. Scott Morrison, also using this sign as he got up when he received his COVID injection. This sign is popularized by the Satanists and they know its significance and is now used extensively by communist organizations. And is also this sign is very prominent in China. The V is the Roman sign for a number five. In Hebrew, the letter V, Vo, is stands for nail or a hook, which is one of the secret titles of Satan within the brotherhood of Satanism. Nails were used to crucify Jesus on the cross. Interesting, isn't it? Think of the five-pointed star, the pentagram. I may also add the pentagon in the US. Our second sign, although not a hand sign, it's a so-called peace symbol, which originated in the 1950s by a man called Gerald Holtam. He was asked to design a symbol to unite so-called peace marches in 1958. And therefore he used the Neuronic Cross. And throughout the last 2000 years, this symbol, the Neuronic Cross, was actually a very, it actually designated a hatred for Christians. Nero, who despised Christians, crucified the Apostle Peter upside down. Hence the upside down cross. You'll find this Neuronic Cross in sat satanic temples and even on tombstones of the German SS and their, and their death notices. Yes, even when Satanists are being uh, initiated, they actually take a ceramic cross and they break it also symbolizing that neuronic cross. Beloved, peace without the peacemaker is no peace. It's fake news once again. Our third sign we want to look at is the so-called moon sign. The moon sign. See the moon? This sign is used by witches to salute the rising moon. It's also used often by surfers and football teams, meaning to hang loose, man, hang loose. And therefore, it's anti-God. God doesn't say to hang loose. Think of a religion that also has the crescent moon in its symbolism. Our fourth sign is called the horned god, 
the horned God. Take note, it's in the right hand. The horned God is of witchcraft. Note the thumb is underneath the fingers and given by the right hand. This signal is a recognition sign among Satanists and witches. Remember, Satan is called the horned God. Our fifth hand signal is very similar to the previous one, but it's done with the left hand. You'll see the thumb this time is over the fingers. I think a lot of people don't know about the different hands. They just do it anyway. But this one is the horn hand. I remember 45 to 50 years ago, at school we used this sign to symbolize coolness, man. Safe, my mate. That's what they used to say. We didn't know what it actually meant. I don't know if your children know. But God has showed us. And we praise his name. This sign is a recognition amongst those in the occult. And when pointed at someone, it's meant to place a curse. Note the thumb over the fingers given by the left hand. Did you know many people in heavy metal music or rock groups use the sign? I think groups like KISS, Kings and Satan Service, K-I-S-S, and the Beatles. The Beatles were the first rock band to use this sign on the album cover. Beloved, what is your hand and finger hygiene like today? Has the Holy Spirit possibly nudged you a bit in your heart? Is it time to change your hand signs to praying hands instead and make your hands useful in God's vineyard? Watch your hands. What they do. 1 Timothy 2 verse 8 says, I will therefore that men pray everywhere, lifting up holy hands without wrath and doubting. God help you, beloved, to purge the world out from our lives and be separate and touch not the unclean thing. And God will receive us. Don't want to blend in with this world. It's so dirty. Stay away from that center line. The Bible Baptist Church in Gatton, or the, sorry, the Bible Baptist Bunch in Gatton, will close with an old Sunday school song called Watch Your Eyes, What They See. Amen. <laughs>